Thanks, Andrew. So I'm joined by Mitchell Huntley and Madeline Oberly, both of whom work for The Wamu Show, where Mitchell is a writer and Madeline a producer. Thank you guys so much for coming, despite your undoubtedly busy schedule this week. <laughs> so my first question is for you, Mitchell, and I'd like you to take us back inside the WAMU's writer's room on day one. How exactly did you guys take the show's initial pitch and turn that into a full working script? Yeah, so I think it really started with our pitch process, which began during the summer and building sort of what we wanted the story to be about in general. And then we really focused on the characters. We wanted to have a very character-driven story. So from there, we thought about the different scenarios, and we've gone through a lot of uh, the different different ideas of what the characters would do, what the plot of the show would be. And so we really were exploring putting these characters that we fleshed out into these various different situations, and from there deciding what paths we took. From very, it's a very like mystery show, and so we wanted to sort of explore different routes as we would. And so obviously, music is a huge part of the WAMU show. So how does your team of writers even determine what scenes require songs, and how does collaboration between the writing team and the music team sort of play into song creation? Yeah, so that's a thing we call song spotting in, um, in musical theater writing, and sort of figuring out what are different really important points, like we call it the I want song, which is when the main character sings about what they're looking for, what they're striving for. Uh, and we take those specific moments, and as well as finding different various moments throughout the show where we can add some levity or some like just some lightness and fun into the show. And we chose a jazz score this year, which was very ambitious because a lot of our writers are very new to uh, the writing process and did not know sort of that kind of style. So we really had to work closely with the music team to sort of arrange the songs and get them in a way that sounded very jazzy um, and that kind of style, which was really hard for a lot of our writers. But we had such a strong team and collaborating with them was really important to getting something that sounded really amazing on yeah. stage. Seems as though, as though it was. Uh, and so, Madeline, you've worked so hard as a producer to make sure that this show basically has all the nuts and bolts required to make it run. And so it's clear that you have been with the show since its inception, and so you probably know all about it. Um, so with all that being said, what exactly do you want audience members to take away from the show after its opening night? Yeah, I think to talk specifically about this show and why a peculiar inheritance is important is really best encapsulated in our final number, which is called We'll Make It Work. It's predominantly sung by our three protagonists, which are all 20 to 25. We are very excited about writing characters that were like us and just talks about how the young people are going to persevere and make really amazing things, which especially when a lot of our audience is 50 to 70 is I think a great message to bring out of the show. Well, guys, thank you, thank you so much for being here today. Uh, remember, guys, that the show opens this Friday, and tickets are on sale now. And you can visit at the WAMU Show on Instagram for more information regarding location and tickets. Uh, thank you, guys, so much for coming. Thank you for having us. Thanks for having us.